This video is sponsored by UnlockThatPhone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier, worldwide. Visit UnlockThatPhone.com for more information. What's up guys? So let's go ahead and show you how to install LabRat ROM onto your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. But first you're gonna need two, oh uh, no, not two files, just one file. Uh, I'll be placing a link in the description below directly to the uh, ROM thread itself and obviously you'll wanna go ahead and follow the download links. The download is blazing fast. It was like less than five minutes for me, I swear. Uh, once you have that file, just go ahead and grab your Galaxy Note 3, plug it into your PC and then just drag and drop that ROM file onto either your internal storage or external storage and then we're gonna go ahead and shut down your phone turn it off and then we're gonna go ahead and boot into recovery we'll show you how to do that right now so as always we're gonna go ahead and press and hold the volume up button power button and home button all at the same time so let's go ahead and do that I know it's a bit of a stretch it's a large phone um, so we'll go ahead and now we can let go as soon as you see that blue writing up there at the top left hand corner and we'll just wait for this to boot into TWRP as it is right now there we go. Uh, first things first, what I always recommend in every single how to install video is double check that those files or that file has in fact been pushed to the device or to whatever storage you were using. So for a lot of you guys out there, you're just gonna be simply clicking on install. Now, if it's just in your internal storage, you'll go ahead and go ahead and uh, whatever, just locate it in this list here. Or if it's in your external storage, you'll go ahead up here, tap that button there, click on micro SD card, and then the same thing, you'll just look in that list there. Now for me in this instance, I'm gonna be using my little uh, micro USB dongle. If you guys are interested in picking one of these up for yourself, they're $12.99 and you can purchase them at menova.com. That's M-E-E-N-O-V-A. Dot com. Um, this is the one I use. There's various different models and things like that out there, but this is the one I use because it's cheap and easy. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this in right there. Wait for that to activate. And then I'm going to go ahead and select USB storage. And I'm going to go ahead down to and locate my uh, Galaxy Note 3 folder, which is right there. Click on my ROMs folder. And as you can see, there's LabRat N3117, yada, yada, yada. So we know that we've got that. Uh, so now all we have to do, now that we've confirmed that it is in fact on our storage, we can go ahead and come up here to wipe. And we're gonna be wiping data cache and Dalvik cache. And that's all, all, all matic, um, sorry, automatically, <laughs> fumbling on my words a bit. Uh, that's all automatically selected. So we can go ahead and just wipe. And um, that should happen relatively quickly. Now, the developer of this particular ROM recommends that you actually do this three times. So I generally like to do what they say most of the time anyway, sometimes I don't follow what they say, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that one more time and one more time for good luck. There we go. Alrighty, so now we can go ahead and go back. We can click on install. I'm gonna go ahead and locate my ROM file, which is right there, Lab Rats. And then we're just gonna simply swipe to flash. And this will take just a moment because the Galaxy Note 3 is such a bloody fast phone. Um, and we'll be right back as soon as it's done flashing. Alrighty, and as you can see, it says the flash has been successful. So at this point, all we have to do is literally simply click on reboot system. And that should reboot our system. Now, always remember that as soon as you flash a ROM, the first boot will take a while, sometimes even up to five minutes, although that is a rare occurrence, it does happen. Now, the developers also mentioned that once the phone is fully booted up and you've gone into the setup wizard, that um, you leave it, just leave it for about a minute for let, to let things settle and all the optimizations and things that are happening in the background that you can't see going on um, do its thing. So uh, once it's finally booted up to the setup wizard, just put the phone down, walk away for a minute, go take a pee, and and um, come on back and you should be ready to go and set up your phone and um, you'll have lab rats. And that's basically it guys, that's all you needed to do, it's that easy. Uh, hopefully you liked this video, hopefully you found it useful. If you did, click that likes button down below and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for more videos in the future. But that's it, thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.